come back and thank you most importantly for joining us. Our WhatsApp line is 020-216-6633. We're getting on into the uh, details in the front pages of the newspapers. And I've been joined this morning by my guest, the Honorable Kwame Agboja, is the Member of Parliament for Adaklu. I call him Adaklu Mezaya. Chief, good morning and thank good you very much for your time. And uh, the uh, Mr. Stephen Amoa is the boss at Maslock. Chief, good morning. Thank good you very much for your time. I, I like your thank tie, you the orange and... Thank you for and everything. It's a big man tie. Oh, thank you. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> this is it's a, it's a government tie. I see. No, oh. but yours is nice. It's a, it is opposition tie. Oh, the opposition oh. wears red. Check. The government wears I mean, orange. Can you do me a favor? Okay. <laughs> Find the cost of it and the cost of mine. Okay. <laughs> and next week, tag and yes. Okay. So this is opposition tie. Yeah. Give you opposition. <laughs> so what's mine? Oh, do you, you, are, you are a superstar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Position, it's more costly. I see. <laughs> Kwame, how's the budget conversation going on in Parliament? So far, so good? Uh, so far, so good. What is, um, like I said on, uh, I think, Friday mm. uh, and Thursday, I am disappointed at the, f at the fact that a very important, perhaps one of the most important budgets to government, mm -hmm. but the finance minister uh, couldn't be bothered to to stay around and listen because you see when when you read the budget in parliament and you're telling the people's representative mm -hmm. you expect them to scrutinize and pass it and when they are having the discussion you're not there mm -hmm. so what, what is the point so i was saying that maybe we should stop the debate and wait when the appropriation bill come we just do whatever we want to do mm -hmm. uh, because we were expecting the finance minister to be around for the debate. Friday, for instance, not even any of the deputies were around. And I, I was asking myself, what are we here doing? Mm. We're wasting our time. So if the finance minister is, is watching, mm. you ought to be in parliament to listen to the debate so you can get the sense of the country in terms of the various aspects of, of the budget. Mm. I mean, as a minority spokesman on road and transport, I've already made uh, my point. Uh, government basically believes that until they get Sino Hydro, they won't do anything about uh, the, the, the road sector. But uh, in, in all, many things, including uh, the unnecessary controversy mm -hmm. about pre presidential staffers, which mm -hmm. if we get the time, we, we can will discuss uh, that. clarify sure, that. Yes. But apart from that, uh, so far, so good. And the numbers are also not good enough. Okay. Most of the time, and I'm going to say this. Most on your of the side the, or on the side of the majority? On the side of the 169 of them, most of the time, if you were to take a head count mm. of the number of people in parliament, the majority is almost always more than the minority. Uh, no, the minority is always uh, more than the majority in terms of headcount. That is, that is, that is not uh, good enough. Even the speaker had to make a comment about it. Okay. But if you go and check the votes and proceedings, they mm -hmm. will tell you 200 people uh, uh, were in parliament. However, if you check the chamber, using the CCTV in the chamber so, on so, daily basis, So people come 60, and write 70. their names and go? I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. But it's not good for our democracy. We have to be in parliament. To, 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 to deal with uh, important issues like Will this in any way delay the uh, confirmation of the budget for its implementation uh, um, for um, the good people of Ghana? Unfortunately not. The government will whip their people on the day of the appropriation to all of them to come and vote on something they have no clue about. They will, they will whip all of them to the chamber. I wouldn't say these things are necessarily peculiar to one government. Okay. It's become acute. Mm. And I can see why if you have 169 members of parliament, mm -hmm. then we have a situation where 60, mm. 40 mm -hmm. people are the only ones in the chamber to do, to carry, uh, to do the debate. That is, that is unacceptable. It, does it pre because the budget is very important. I mean, it, I've been to parliament to report on, on issues where you would have the whips doing their job and making sure there's a full house. The budget should be equally important to them. Why are they not showing up? Do we know? Well, I can't see anything uh, more important around this time of the year than the, the, than the budget. Absolutely. So but why guess, are they not showing up? The person who actually presented the budget, I started by telling you, couldn't be bothered to be around. We have one minister mm. and then two, de uh, 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 in fact, three deputies. Okay. Three deputies. Mm. Not a single one of them was in the house on Friday. And... If the person who is, whose budget we are dealing with couldn't be bothered to be a, around, mm. what, what, why, why do you think that the majority members will find it necessary to be around, let alone the minority? Mm. But I am encouraged by the fact that the minority, because I belong to the minority, they right. tell us we have to be around. And mm. many of the times, if you do a head count, okay. I am saying the minority outnumbers the majority mm. on the floor of the debate. 
Forget about mm -hmm. what you come and see on the votes and proceeding because, okay. as far as I'm concerned, uh, backed it, by the speaker, it, it does not reflect. It's not a true reflection. No, no. The day I had an uh, issue with the uh, uh, speaker, mm. in, uh, uh, when I wanted to raise the issue of quorum, okay. when we we're doing the CI, right. it was basically to draw that attention. And somebody told me the following day that, oh, if you take the votes and proceedings, we're over 200 in the chamber. Mm. I said, if I want to make a case out of it, okay. I wouldn't use the votes and proceedings. I'll use the CCTV okay. at the time we were taking the uh, <laughs> the, the vote right. to see whether you had 200 people in the chamber <laughs> because you had less than 60. Okay, <laughs> Philip, stepping for me now, uh, this is this is what we are being told from from Parliament. It, does it paint a good picture for a country that says 2019 is action year and we want to make progress? This is the budget that will drive the action, and we um, don't have the people. My to regards it. to our viewers this right. morning, and I think what I can say this mm. morning is that. Um, I don't know whether you know what is called asymmetric information. Mm, I do. Uh, yes, where um, not every piece of vital, relevant information mm. is actually available to all stakeholders, okay. particularly external ones. Mm. My honorable is a member of parliament. Mm, okay. And seriously speaking, I'm a external stakeholder. The figures he's putting into the public domain, I cannot say they are false. Mm. And I cannot say they are true, but I think they may be true because mm. this is not an issue he may even lie about. Mm. But I think it is also being a ritual on the part of both houses. Normally, when they are in government, mm. if what he's saying is true, because I'm not there. Okay. So I'm making my comment based on the extracts that I've had that he from he gave you. Exactly. Right. Okay. But if it is true, mm. I think as a country, we need to be very careful whether it is government A or B or party B or C. Look. For any country to attain the ultimate goal mm -hmm. all over the world mm -hmm. of, I mean, long-term economic growth and stability, mm -hmm. it's all about productivity and labor force. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about productivity, these are some of the fundamental parameters that we look at. I mean, turn-ups, they are very important. Mm -hmm. So I would just urge the House that if what he is saying is true, then I'm begging them because they are being paid with taxpayers' money. Mm. Two, it is, I think it's the most honorable uh, uh, segment in our, 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 on our social stratification mm. as a mm. country. Mm. So I'm just begging them that we need a lot. As a developing we country. We need to beg them. In fact. For people that, who put that themselves is, that up is, for that election. That is my side. To say, I want to serve you. Vote for me. Make so what me I'm saying MP. is, but he says some do attend. Mm. So mm. it means some do. But from what he's talking about, the proportion, the, 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 the fraction, mm. exactly. Okay. So if it is true, then what you're saying is perfect. Mm. We don't have to beg them. But what can you do? Have they forgotten that we are in a developing country? We have, in fact, we have a long way to go. Mm. Uh, anytime I travel from Kumasi to Accra and vice versa by air, okay. and it's during the day, mm. and you look, when you're about to land, just look at our land, our roads our streets, mm. even by observation, which is also a acceptable method of research, right. about 90% of these roads and streets are not tired. Mm. It, te it is telling you that we have about 50, 100 years to go. Mm. So if we are serious and want to build our country, we need to be serious. And it has to start from parliament. So I'm not saying they are doing bad, please, and with all respect, so right. that they don't come and say contempt <laughs> or whatever. I haven't gotten there. But we want to talk about Rwanda. Right. We want to talk about UK. We want mm. to talk about US. Mm. We want to talk about other developed countries or economies. Mm. However, the things that take them to get to those levels on the globe, mm. we don't want to go by. We don't want to comply with. And sometimes it's very interesting. So we are appealing to them, mm. urging them, that they should take the duties of the house extremely very serious extremely and this is also advice to those who vote mm -hmm. whether in this or mpp okay who do we send to parliament does the person have the requisite expertise mm -hmm. does well, the person have the knowledge your constitution says if you are 21 years and above you're a registered voter uh, and your sound mind, I don't know who checks for sound mind. You can, <laughs> <laughs> you, you can go to parliament. And they also say no that, educational qualifications. And you know, they also and you saying think that, that parliament works in committees. If you, you are a stark illiterate and you go to parliament and you are put in a committee, how do you function? Some of them might not necessarily be illiterate, mm. but in, seriously speaking, they simply don't fit. They cannot. 
Because, yeah. look, you, supposed, we are supposed to be checking for sound mind. That's what the constitution says. But they also say that right. everyone on earth has some level of psychosis. Right. So I agree with you. How do we check? How do we Which check? level does it get to uh -huh. for us to know that you, you are not fit to vote? Uh -huh. So we are just, in general, we are telling everybody that if you want to vote somebody into parliament, find out whether the person has the requisite expertise mm. to contribute his quota to developing this country. Okay. Steve, uh, the, 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 the finance minister, we're told, was not in parliament or has not been part of the conversation, his deputies as well. Does it worry you? No, I must say, when we started the debate, okay. the deputy... Yeah, I saw the, the deputy, uh, the female. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Abena was Abena, there. Yeah, she even made a contribution. Right, right. And Honorable uh, Kuku Kwating, okay. because they are members of parliament, <laughs> right. they sat in a few times, I think two times or so. Okay. But since they, then, they've not been around. Mm. And I, my worry is the finance minister himself, because this is not the first time. I've said that his frequency in the house <laughs> is a bit uh, di uh, difficult for me to understand. Because he has deputies who can work. No, not him. only that. He's never, if I tell you, for instance, he's the only finance minister who has never mm. answered a question on the floor of parliament by himself. He's never. The, finance, the current finance minister has never come to the but, podium to answer a question but, by but, himself. But, but the, the question is Sorry. put to the ministry or, or to the, the minister president and I, I the think, deputy. Think, the, the the deputy are not being fair. No, the deputies no, work in, in tandem with him. But right. you see, Tekpa was coming. Dufour was coming. Okay. All I ever uh, was coming. Is it a matter of style for him that no, his deputies can, it, are competent no, enough see, to respond it, to we the are, I am, I'm happy when my brother brought the light onto parliament. Okay. And you stretched it even further by asking, should we just send anybody to parliament? Mm. No. I think there should be a basic requirement, maybe by civil service, as to who would you get a job in civil service based on that? Right. So anybody, in fact, there's no job on this uh, If uh, this FDA, you can say anybody can do it. Okay. Somebody will do it. So when you come to a situation of the finance minister, critical to any government, mm. and I'm saying that the fact that I cannot file a question to my finance minister and see him come, not delegate somebody for almost two years, mm. I find it completely Th those unacceptable. Those questions that were filed, were they answered by the people he sent to represent him? Some of them were answered. Some of them were not. Yes. Which of them? Have you but, raised, but, have you raised but, supplementary questions we raised about supplementary. those ones that were not answered? Yeah, exactly. But who says that the finance minister, just because we've got deputies, I, I don't think he watching us today will feel comfortable that a member of parliament is saying that from the day he was appointed minister, mm. has never been to parliament to answer a question by himself. Okay. Uh, boss, I, I yes, think sir, it will be fair mm. on my part to talk about this. Right. If but honorable, briefly. No, yeah, but I think it's, it's a very serious issue. Because mm -hmm. one, the finance minister is not here to respond to all these allegations. Right. So in my opinion, it's not fair. Two, if he, because he's honorable member, and we all go to church and the mosque, this has been the practice where the even practices of the NDC. And that when we're in opposition, our people too were complaining mm. that even substantive ministers were refusing to even go to parliament. Okay. I am not heaping scorn on what he's saying. Okay. I'm not saying that I'm treated with contempt. Mm. Is it a, a genuine concern if what he's saying is true? Mm. But I also think, more importantly, we should also look at the output, the results of this present finance minister in terms of managing our primary macro indicators that has been extended into the secondary macro indicators. In fact, he's is, one of is the that best. Enough, is that enough excuse for I'm, him I'm not, not to say it's an excuse. If you go me wrong, I'm saying that we haven't heard his part. Okay. Probably there could even be health issues. I'm not saying so, please, right, with all respect. Right. There could be other uncontrollable factors. Right. But whichever way, we should also look at the fact that in terms of less than two years, mm -hmm. managing the primary macro indicators, which is in terms of packing order, the number one factor, he is one of the best we have on the continent of Africa. So we should balance what he's done. Said who? Ah, there, the facts are there. Let's check. Check all the primary <laughs> macro indicators. How do you read finance ministers? First thing, I'm coming first thing. If you inherit there to GDP over 70%, mm -hmm. and you're able to bring it down to 55.4. Because of and, oh, can I finish? Because of oh, the basic. Can I finish? I'm coming. And under him, <laughs> we have lending rate <laughs> that was moving between 33 and 40. <laughs> now, averaging is 26. What about the borrowing? Oh, can I come in? Okay. You can't talk only about borrowing when you don't talk about assets. Uh -huh. That is wrong. Which that, that is displaying Which did you put, put in? Oh, can I talk, okay. please? I'm not. Uh, when you talk I, about I borrowing, I want you to educate oh, no, me on the asset. That is okay, well, okay. let me educate okay. you. Okay. Okay. Whenever you are borrowing, mm -hmm. America's debt is bigger than Ghana. Mm -hmm. So, does it mean America is doing worse in terms of our economy? No. Because against America's asset, mm. and that can be just justified or confirmed by the GDP. Mm -hmm. What GDP are we having? 
Just check. That will tell you that even if we are borrowing, we are doing that and using the money judiciously. Check it. We borrow this, how much are we growing? You left 3.7. You know the NDC. What asset oh. did you add? Oh, uh, the asset, asset is shown by the GDP. No, what growth. did you add? Ah, so how do, how do you measure not GDP? The investment Unless you tell me in. as MP, you, you no. cannot measure GDP. Tell, tell, tell me. You don't understand. Not the academic figures. What NDC asset, put? Not what is academic figures? The, the, the academic so figures. The measurement of the GDP is just your, the GDP. You, Ghana, the GDP you are hearing is well, because of what? Content. Because of oil. What is oil? Because of oil. But what was the oil growth? Because of oil, they you didn't invest in the oil. Oh, oh, oh. NBC invested in I'm the oil. Saying, the okay. oil growth was over five percent. You left 3.7. Okay. So what are you talking about? Great. Please, uh, honorable, let's get the figures right. But so, ask him for so, me because so, that means I think that's it. a sense of finally. we knowing the truth. Mm. You are in parliament. You say oil. Okay, take away the oil. No oil growth was over five percent. It was more than 3.7 you left. You know NBC, the year 2000, they left the same 3.7. As if any time they are leaving power, they only leave us with 3.7% growth. What do you Other leave behind? We. What did you leave behind in 2008? We moved Ghana into middle income status. We moved over 8%. Go and check. Mm -hmm. They give us 3.7. That the, is one on thing the, we don't on know. On the back of HEPIC? Of HEPIC? Oh, we had, that was 2008. What are you talking about HEPIC? We are moving beyond HEPIC. Mm. When did we get out of HEPIC? Oh, it's not, no, by two times, we're in Because HIPIC. you are not paying anything. No. Who is? You are uh, not paying anything. Bah, All bah, the bah, period bah, you're in government, you, you didn't pay anything. Okay. We understand this. We'll, we'll move on. 020-216-6633. That's uh, what's up line. <laughs> An interesting conversation. Is I'm sure you're enjoying yourself. Let's talk about, great, quick one before we get on. Is Doomso back? To me, no. Is not your because life have your lives been going on? Um, I had um pockets of uh, power outages, mm. <laughs> but for about two three days now, I haven't had it. Okay, so I think it will be hasty to say that there's doing so is back. We need to take our time mm -hmm. and see going forward whether it is. Because when you're talking about power outages, the sinusoidal performances of our electricity or power, I'm not justifying it, even right. if it's one day, it's wrong. Mm. Anywhere in the world, it could happen due okay. to some. But if it become consistent for so long, mm. then we will start getting upset. So for now, I can't say it is back mm. or not. From the pieces of information that I've had from relevant stakeholders, I don't think it is back. So we have to be very patient. However, we need to caution the appropriate bodies, unit mm. in mm. charge, that they should come clear in terms of information management. For us to know as stakeholders, mm. they owe us explanation what is actually happening. Because you know what? The most dangerous aspect is not you and I okay. sitting here. It's about TV3. Mm. It's about the factories. It's about the I mean, production units. Mm. These things will let them go out of jail. They plan their budget. And if these things are happening, what is going to happen? Mm. So I hope and pray it's not going to be something that is going to be on us for months I mean, like NDC's time, we had about three, four years. How long does it take we cannot, for you to, we cannot go to, that way. to be able to determine that this is doomed? So two weeks, one month, three days, one week, the light keeps going off. Well, if it it's be, not back if yet. If it's that's one day, mm. it's doomed. So. Okay. But if we are back, we are back in the doomed so days means our brothers took us for about three years mm. or four years. Mm. And you saw industries were performing, <laughs> I think, negative 0.5. They, that's what they left with us because of the doom so mm. because energy is very critical when it comes to you know industries mm. and their performances and such if we are getting that consistently and getting for a long time then i think one can infer what, what is what do you call this one because i remember under the ndc when the lights went off uh, president mahama was fingered it was called incompetence it was called a wisdom problem and all of that is that the same that's happening now but I'm, i thank you i'm asking you President Mahama. Well, yeah, don't answer questions. So I'm answering you, President okay. Mahama left us mm. in power outages for over three years. Okay. So if you're having it within a week or even a two, you cannot attribute that as incompetence. No. Okay. Unless you want to do propaganda. Well, what is that? What do, you call, what do you call that? I don't think it has three years, specific. Three years, doom saw is incompetence. Two weeks, doom saw is what? Two weeks, you cannot. Primarily, you cannot. So what do Unless you call it? I want you to give me a, a nomenclature. So you want me to give you a nomenclature? Yeah. In term, I know nomenclature in chemistry. You mm. deal with figures. I don't right. know which of the figures so you want me to. Or in terms of scale. No, I no, don't know. describe it. I don't think all over the world we have a standard scale to mm. say this is incompetence because of doom so. But if you have power outages for over three years in your country, okay. of course, then every time they can hurry, 
can justify the point that you are not competent because so, you are killing your so industry. So when are we to get a stabilization of the of the light so that everybody is happy? I think I said something. Okay. That when it comes to information access. Okay. We have what is called asymmetric information right, management. Right. That different stakeholders have access to different pieces of relevant information. Right. Seriously speaking, I don't know. Okay. But what I know is that it is a problem that is just going to be an idea wonder. Mm -hmm. That is what I know. Okay. And it's my prayer. Okay. And at the same time, I'm cautioning ECG, uh, Grilco, mm. um, is it the other one, Valco, and mm. all stakeholder institutions and individuals mm. to really be very careful because anything that will take us into what the NDC led Ghana into mm. is going to jeopardize our job opportunities, our industries, mm. and we're going to go back. Look, now the economy is doing it, it, says there's, there's, there's there are back. issues with our gas. Uh, the other time, we've been told by the minority that you owe money, uh, which is why we can't we can't get our lights on, you know, stably. Uh, it, it could be true. Mm. But if we owe money, I wouldn't be surprised per what our brothers did and left. You know, the, you know this Amari issues and co. We mm. all know. I don't want to go into integrity of these things. Mm. Whenever you inherit such a deplorable state, definitely it wouldn't be easy for you. That's why sometimes I wonder why people under two years, they talk as if the eight years of destruction, deplorable state, I mean, unproductive debt portfolios they left for us, the situation they Did left us Did you not bring in. that upon yourself or when you mounted the campaign platform prior to 2016? And that is what we are promising doing. Promising everything. That is one, everything we promise. I'm not saying we've done everything. Okay. But most of the things, unless maybe one doesn't want to know, mm. check all the parameters. They are there. Mm. Look, a country such as Ghana, primary macro indicator, secondary, pro poor policies, you're talking about your industries, mm. you talk about securities and co. I'm not saying we are perfect. But any party should check, try to analyze things, do trend analysis, mm. use what we inherited as reference point, and check. If you want me to give you most of them, we have done so much work. But there are difficulties, okay. there are challenges. And okay. you don't build a country by the process of just, it's a process, it's mm. not an event. Mm. And under two years, you don't expect that we move this country from where we got it. No. But I think check everything, if we are doing well or not. Is the government under pressure from the people uh, to deliver these promises? Does if, government feel pressure? Everywhere pressured? in the world, even you yourself, if mm. you set projections, you promise yourself, your resolutions, mm. they'll put you under pressure. Okay. But no matter what, one thing about the president is that he's very resilient. Is the government under pressure? I, I don't think so. But the government is hurriedly working hard to solve the, the deplorable state they left Ghana in. Because Ghana was so bad. Check. What was even going on right? Okay. When you are having treasury bills moving over 20 in terms of per annum, 90 day, about 17.5, having interest rate, even police rate, government owned rate was about 25.5. Things were getting bad. Okay. I mean, nurses allowance, teachers allowance, things were getting so bad in our country. You know, he jet, let it, everything was so bad. Mm. If you come into government to you look at national health insurance, we had to pay billions. Mm. All these things definitely would create a very Herculean tax for you as a government. Mm. But we have a leader who is so resilient. In less than two years, where we are going, by the grace of God, by four years' time, we will see what is happening. Okay. Go to Western Region and see the railway. What's Steven, happening thank you very much. Kwame, step in for me. Uh, it says Dumso is not back. You can't say it's incompetence because the, the metrics are different. And uh, we should... We should Hasting slowly, in four years, we will see the grace of God manifest well, in hard the, work. The, 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 the problem about this country is uh, sometimes honesty. And then people being able to say things in the morning, repeat it in the afternoon, repeat it in the evening. How does it come to be? You, you, would, you, you made a very important statement here. Mm. There was a senior citizen in this country who's, who made that comment that the problem of energy, when NDC was in government, mm was a wisdom problem. Mm. Today, that wisdom couldn't help a bank survive. That bank is gone. How is that related? But you could like hold, on, banks. hold on, hold mm. on. Oh, we please. need, I think, oh, no. wisdom. Oh, no, wisdom. Steve, Stephen, allow him, please note oh, your point. Wisdom, wisdom. Steve, wisdom. Steve, Steve allow, allow him, note your point. He, think, gave, he gave you a lot of time sure. to speak. I don't, I don't think we need wisdom on only managing energy sector. We need wisdom in managing banks as well. And honestly, the collapse of the bank started from you. No, which I, is why I am, I am not aware. I, I interviewed I, I interviewed Mr. Setekwe here, and I he am, said that I asked he, him, <laughs> look, Kwame, I interviewed Mr. Setekwe here. 
He sat where you're sitting. And I asked him two questions. Does he take the blame for the collapse of the banks? He says he feels responsible, not the blame. And if he didn't feel responsible, he wouldn't have gone to take some bond, uh, to, to take some bond uh, to, to try and salvage the banks in, when in you, an election when, year. When, when, you, when you run a country, okay. you run it with assets and liabilities. Mm. You don't take the assets and then ignore the liabilities. Today, we have taken bonds as well, mm. but the banks have collapsed. So who is more competent? If Tepe took a, 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 a bond mm -hmm. to save the banks, what prevented this government from doing so and saving the banks? But let's go to the, what the, what the factor. Energy. Well, let's go to energy. Okay. Indeed, my brother was right when he said that for three years into the last NDC administration, mm. we had serious challenges with energy in fact part of the reason the the the, the gdp he mentioned mm. was that way was partly because of uh, i mean of the energy problem we had but significantly mm -hmm. the government resolved all that by the time we were handing over power we were rather being accused of overcapacity in our energy energy generation we didn't only build plants mm. we created the fuel Mm. That will be used. So he invested heavily, and today Atuabo can give us gas that will power some of the plants. We further went to develop the ten fields, mm. the, uh, 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 the, the, uh, uh, the other uh, two, which uh, include Sankofa and Co., mm. which today give us almost 200,000 bar uh, 200, barrels of oil. Mm. And if you read this budget, the finance minister is saying he's projecting $1 billion oil revenue alone for uh, investing no CD. Today, we are told that we have so much gas that we probably wouldn't need to buy one scarf, mm. eh? one scarf of gas to power any plant. But guess what? Just to, to do the connectivity and develop the other assets so that we utilize our gas, they are postponing the development of that to go and import gas because somebody wants to get uh, 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 his uh, his business part out of it. Is when so it comes, bad. yes, let me go. Let me go. When it comes, when it comes, when it comes to when it comes to, that, well, that's, that's, that's that's a very wild uh, word to yes. say. Uh, let, let me let me see that. How, how do you know that somebody is looking for ten percent? The only oh, I didn't use ten percent. Some these days we are told it's more okay. than ten percent. So is it? you are being you are you are being uh, generous. What I am saying is that mm. when you did not invest one CD, a previous government invested and handed over three oil wells to you mm. that you have put in this budget that you get one billion dollars from oil revenue alone mm. which the previous government didn't get and you are so hopelessly incompetent that you can't even just collect this money and fix the energy problem i'm coming to give you some of the, pro uh, the the issues we have we should never have energy problem in this country for the next 50 years because the investment we made not only in the generation plants mm. but the fuel should cut off doom so forever. I'm telling you for really? a fact. Because we have more than, we have generation capacity more than what we need. 2,100 uh, uh, megawatts, and we, we, we've got more than that. We've got more than that. Mm. So when, let's go to doom so. You see, I said something. When my brother was trying to talk about, uh, about this, you see, the guy who has got light off this morning, the factory who, who is off this morning, wouldn't listen to my brother saying that he wouldn't call it doom so. The fact is that, there's doom so around. Uh, and what, what is, is, what is, is, it, is, it, is what, 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 what is, one day is unacceptable. Let, let me, let, let me, let me, like give, let me give you this. One of the ways, <laughs> one of the ways we attempted to solve the problem of the finance sector based on what the, uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the energy sector owes them. Because you see, all these players in the energy sector owe the banks. Mm. Was to institute the uh, ESLA, energy sector levies which were, was supposed to basically deal with some of the, the challenges of indebtedness to these uh, sectors. Mm. That had a, a sunset clause, which means that by the close of 2017, it should have been uh, taken off. In opposition, they said they were going to take it off. Now, they have come not to use the ESLA to solve the problem in the energy sector. They have gone to use the ESLA as a, a, a collateral to borrow for the next 10 years. Is that what is making the light go on and off? They, they took the money and did not use the money to solve the problem in the energy sector. So what, what do we have to do? What today? problem was there to solve? We, the, the, we owe ACG owe so much money to the, to, to the, uh, the, the, the chain of, uh, uh, how do you call it, the, the value chain. Mm. ECG, we are told, owes almost 2 billion Ghana CD. Mm. 
in terms of what they ought to have paid to the various uh, 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 people. Mm. And I'm saying that today, if we are saying that we can't have enough gas to power some of the plants, as we speak, mm. as ugly, it's running below uh, 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 capacity. capacity. Uh, how do you call it? Almost all, all of them, except except maybe Ameri. Mm. And I'm, I'm sure, I'm, sometimes when MPP want to talk about Ameri, they need to look into the room and find out. Stephen didn't whether, do that. Whether, no, he said, he mentioned it. That's why I wrote it down. Yes. I wish, I wish he they said Ameri, but he didn't look around to talk about yes, it. Yes, because, was, because was this was one of the most gargantuan ways of fleecing the state. They, 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 they intended to steal money from the state using this. They, they, no wonder, they no are, wonder. They are married that you brought in the first instance. Remember, there were questions no, about no, there was no, how much, my, my brother, how much was brother, involved. Our back, the company who was, no, was no, giving it no. up. There our, back, our back was to the wall. We needed to deploy, and indeed, it's a world record of deployment of emergency power, what we did to stop Doomsaw. Mm. It was a world record. Mm. So you can, you can argue, and I would accept that some of the rates were, were rates that, if, if, even in procurement, when you say somebody should accelerate in construction, what you are telling him is like, do whatever it takes, even if it, 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 it adds a little bit of cost. Mm. But what they were trying to do was to, <laughs> instead of waiting for a married deal to, to expire naturally, for us to own the thing, they were attempting to fleece this country with almost $1.2 billion by handing this plant to, the, to themselves. I'm told they will still bring it to parliament. We are waiting for that. But to, uh, to conclude, mm. why I think we should never have Doomsaw so is this. When you have... Tesla giving you 3.5 billion cities. Mm. There shouldn't be anybody owed uh, 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 money in, the, in, in that sector who owes the bank based on which the bank will say that I will not give you more money to go and... They say uh, you owe bank. money, uh, which is why we're not getting the gas. You, you, some debt that they took over from you and which they're trying which, to which settle. Look, when you get 3.5 billion dollars, mm. uh, 3.5 billion Ghana city a year from Tesla alone for doing nothing. For doing nothing. Well, and you, you earn 1 billion dollars a year from oil fields, which you did nothing. Mm. You borrowed 50 billion. And I'm saying that it would take a hopelessly, I mean, hopeless government to be able to have Ho all these ho monies. And hopelessly not hopeless. Hopelessly, in fact, I don't even have to, uh, maybe uh, time, uh, three, he, he, he's a, a science person. You have the money. My brother, three SHS last year was 400 million. This year will be 1 billion. So if you borrow 50 billion, I don't know how to break it this down in three. If you have 1 billion dollars, if you have 3.5 billion Ghana cities, tell me you can't even pay the, 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 the debtors in the energy sector. Mm. So to the extent that we should be back in doing so, and you are blaming the previous government. Do so is not back. That's what government says. What do you says. mean by doing so is not back? My light goes off. You tell me it's not doing so because NPP will say Erratic that. power supply. There's a difference, is there not? My brother, this country is going down the drain. No, you see, no. when, when, when you have a situation... Is it going down listen, the drain? when you have a situation... Mm. Where the truck truck driver is paying more for spare parts, mm. is paying more for fuel. Mm. If depending on the size of his vehicle, mm. you pay more in terms of uh, th that obnoxious tax called luxury uh, 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 car vehicle uh, mm. uh, tax. And you tell me that you come and sit on television and do the cosmetic ones and say that uh, lending rate in, 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 is this and that. If lending rates were actually good, but those the banks would make more money and facts. the banks wouldn't be... Co anyway, uh, when we come back from the break, Stephen, I will have a chance to rebat uh, but, and, no, then, but, and then we'll, we'll, we'll rebat, take, um, rebat, we'll take a break now. Yes. Welcome back and thank you very much indeed. <laughs> the conversation is still ongoing in studio here. <laughs> My guests are uh, still Stephen Amo of Maslok and Honorable Kwame Agboja. He is a member of parliament for Adaklu, I call him Adaklu Mezai. Stimo, let me give you a chance to, to rebut quickly and then we'll move on to another. Thank you. Yes, sir. I, I always say this, not because I'm, I'm an angel. I make mm. mistake. In fact, in three years, I'm sure I'm sure you need a form of buffer. Okay. So I'm not perfect. But if you're a member of parliament and you're speaking, you swore an oath, you believe there is God, mm. know what you say to the people because either you are blessed or cursed by your facts and your incorrect mm -hmm. statement. Boss, let me ask you. Ghana is breaking down. When now a nurse, a teacher going to school mm -hmm. who had no parent can be given allowance. Ghana is collapsing. He's a member of parliament. He should tell the whole world that under MPP, importation of spare parts, mm -hmm. we have not removed the, the uh, import levy on it. Importation of some specialized medicines that are not produced in Ghana, we don't mm -hmm. tax them. Mm -hmm. He should tell us whether the 40% tax on 
fuel. Since March last year, we have not reduced that to 26%. He should tell us, if all these are not factual, you're talking about banks collapsing, Jesus Christ. If under Nanadu Dankwa, we have injected, he should tell the Guineans, if I'm lying, mm. over about 10 billion cities into the banking sector to restore it when you and your government looted and destroyed these banks. Is he not aware? Do we think there's no God? Please. I mean, ordinary person can be saying all these things. But I am surprised when we look, generation of electricity, mm. check all times, we've had a capacity. But sometimes because of liquidity crisis, these and all other things happened, and it happened under them over three years. If we like, go and pull the first budget statement under NDC, mm. not the first one under Rawlings, just the previous one. Mm. What they said about the energy strike, things that we have done under MPP, go and check. I'll look for the document and bring. Now you are saying that MPP government had not invested anything in the oil sector. Ah, when even, even the juvenile, the child, mm. a child under 10, can tell you that it was MPP government that invested heavily to ensure that we got commercial quantity of oils in Ghana here, and they came and enjoyed the proceeds. You know, under NDC, just the previous one, mm. they got money than any other government. Go and check. Go and Google. They are there. In terms of oil proceeds, we never had. In terms of cocoa, in terms of, of all the minerals, go and check. Gold and other things. They borrowed over 100 billion. Go and check. And go and check what they did. Okay. They left us with 3.7. So please, all that I'm saying is that you can't just be here and be throwing dust in the eyes of the uh, Ghanaian community and say that MPP did this. Look, if MPP government borrowed money to put into electricity or any mm. other area mm. and did no use, don't we have committees in parliament? Mm. These sectors, is the committee not comprising NDC? So what have they done? What have they raised? You just don't come on TV and say things that you know they are not true. Okay. Probably Honorable is Steve. displaying his ego trips or maybe he's suffering from unconscious incompetence because what he's saying, I'm so much surprised that a member so, of parliament, look, if that is the case, you should bring the facts and figures. How many? He should quote figures, A, compared to Nanado, B, compared to Nanado. You know the reason President Mahama will continue to be incompetent? He has never, ever shown remorse hmm. in terms of the way he took this country, where he took this country to. So, Member of Parliament, please come next time. Let's bring our figures. All the parameters, all the indicators are there. Let's check everything. If under MPP, you know it's by our fraternity mm -hmm. that a Ghanaian child can be in school from KG, primary, mm -hmm. JHS to SHS. We implemented the FKIP 1992 constitution. Mm -hmm. NDC was in power eight years. They could not. Okay. Because they messed up Thank our you. economy. Thank you very please. much. So, for you, Ghana is not I going down so, the drain. Uh, oh, oh. We, we need so to bring the figures. You want to Why can't yeah, we yeah, use the figures? Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. I Let's I use the figures. I, I want to separate my religious beliefs from this. Ghanaian. No, it's important. Ghanaian. Okay. God Ghanaian. is in everything. Ghanaian. He wants to choose. No, no, no. God Ghanaian is in everything. Not oh, elect. If so for this one, you can lie. Hold if on. You are lying. If Ghanaians wanted, just say God. I'm Ghanaians, sorry for lying to Ghanaians. Hold, hold if Ghanaians hold wanted, Steve, hold on. if Ghanaians wanted to elect ah, a religious lie, person like to lead this country. I swear to God, it will never have, never have been president. Oh, that, that's not fair. Hold on, 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 was mute. Oh, no, we Stephen, are eh, hold on. Why are you insulting the Stephen, president? Hold on. Allow me to do my I job. Go sorry. and read a Sankuma <laughs> who says insulting a president. <laughs> Fabia Goya, Fabia Goya, Goya, please give me the chance. Please. Please. No, no, no. Me no. Oh, oh, withdraw. 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 Withdraw the fact withdraw. that Ghanaians oh, wanted to ah. withdraw on this withdraw platform. I beg you. Just for the for the president, my brother, 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 my brother. Don't push me to do anything. I don't believe in. Kwame Agboja, slow down. No, God has forgiven him. God has forgiven him. Okay, what have I said? Which 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 is an insult to the president? Say it. You're saying that if Ghanaians are looking for a religious person to lead them, they would never have voted for President Akufuado. I'm saying the president is not here to speak for himself. Member of Parliament. I am. My brother. Is the, president, as, is the president most, the most religious person in, in this country? As much as we disassociate that. ourselves from that statement, yes. we want no. you to withdraw. No, no, this my brother, my brother, my brother, my brother. brother. I don't think that referring to the president as not the most religious person, we have the chief imam, we have the Catholic bishops. I am saying that if the Ghanaians wanted a religious person, they would have taken even my pastor at church. 
What is the insult about that? I I I, I accept. So you can come I accept TV3. I accept TV3 <laughs> feels that the president is the most religious person. That is your your cup of tea. Yeah, I don't believe he's the most we, religious. We don't we don't have we don't have we don't have the metrics to, you see, to decide his, that. His, this somebody's Michael, religiosity cannot uh -huh. be. Uh -huh. He's lying. Show well, the kind of person he is. My brother. Member of parliament. My brother. You can lie. Could you just put up and do social behavior? Could you just let Stephen? Stephen. Can you just can you just let me leave the studio so you have him alone? Abiyah, hold on, Stephen. Please. You know I'm not talking. Please, no, you are talking. Right now. Allow him to speak. You have I'm had... sure Sandy who asked no, no, for forgiveness. No, 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 you have had church. your chance to speak. It's okay. okay. All right, thank uh, you. Sir. Allow him to yes, also yeah. have thank his you, chance. Sir. Thank you very but much. But before you go on, I can guarantee you, when he begins to speak, I would interject. No, don't. No, hey, no, no, no. Because, you see... Steven, you, my are, brother, you are doing he, that he, he, he asked. He asked for figures. Okay. No, 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 don't cut me. Yes. Please, please, please. I'm not cutting you. He said, he said, he said, I've said things... Which are not true, my yes, brother. Very. Indeed, Stephen, in, allow indeed, me. So, indeed, can you put off Stephen's microphone for no, me? But I'm not talking. Most. But you are. Okay, sorry. My brother, today is the price of fuel more expensive than ever before. Mm. Yes. So what is he talking about? The taking tax off? Is is a price it of would have been much more expensive? Would have been okay. about six cities. Thank you. Uh, uh, no one follow, give me a message. Uh, let's, let's see what's on the panel. Uh, so we have some opinions here from our viewers. And A.U. Farouk from Tamale, he's saying, Good morning to you and to your able panelists. Indeed, the police is gradually losing its credibility these days, abusing their powers on the innocent people. The IGP must wake up. I think that message is for the IGP. Also, Aziz Donla from Wa, it is sad to notice that cross sections, uh, no, infections, sorry, threatening lives of premature babies in our various healthcare units. It's very disturbing and worrying as a developing nation. We cannot set our priorities right at this time, but you will see leaders siphoning taxpayers' money to the expense of the ordinary civilians. It is sad and worrying. Good morning to all UDS lecturers in War Campus. That's Aziz Donla and Tahir Ibrahim from Yipambongu. Mr. Government, I think he means Mr. President, tried to reduce the number of ministries. In fact, some of them are causing financial loss to the nation. I believe this is the number of ministers, and it's a record, though. Also, good morning to all three news viewers. I want to ask a question, and this question to the politicians of this country. Why is education of this country being treated like we are forced to adopt it? Also, good morning to everyone. Politicians don't have any mind to solve any problem of the youth of this country because if you look at what is happening in every day and you realize that they only think about themselves. Also, 2019 budget from Al Hassan Wanwana in Wa. He's saying the budget that was presented to the August, August House and to the good people of Ghana was the budget that speaks to the needs of hardworking Ghanaians and reflects the government's commitment to building human capital through improvements in health and education. It promotes our commitment to the sustainable development goals and takes fundamental steps towards Ghana beyond aid and also enable us to face the future with confidence. Good morning, everyone. Politicians do not have any mind. Uh, I think we already took that. Uh, also, Tahiru Ibrahim from Yipambongu. I don't think the Minister of Energy is telling Ghanaians the truth because there has been power outages every single day. Mr. President, the people of Yipambongu want you to come and connect the community to the national grid. You can't deceive us by way of bringing polls. We want light, Mr. Government. And that's what we have. Okay, for the we opinions. want light. That's it. Uh, let's speak to your closing thoughts. Um, Stephen, I'd, 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 I'd like for you to, um, to be quiet when Kwame uh, speaks. I beg you. I beg you. Thank you very much, Stephen. Uh, Gideon Hammond, good morning to you. Ablai Kuma South. And uh, you're all doing the watching. Kwame, closing thoughts. Uh, there was an issue raised by my colleague, Honorable Okujetu Ablakwa, mm. and then uh, Honorable, my other colleague, uh, uh, the, the information minister, okay. sought to give the impression mm. that we lied. 
uh, or my colleague lied. My brother, this is Appendix 7 okay. in, in the Constitution presented by the Finance Minister. Mm. I wish the camera can capture it. Okay. What is the figure there for 2019? 1,614. So if, if my colleague says mm. that government mm. intends to increase the number of presidential staffers mm. to this, if they didn't intend to increase increase it, mm. why did they put it in the budget? Office of Government Machinery. Exactly. That's what I read here. Exactly. But that has 19 different agencies. My brother, my it. brother, the 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 Honorable the, Kuja to a Blackwa never gave a breakdown. And indeed, mm. they told that they would get only about 940 something. Mm. But we know by now, even in 2017, that has been increased. By hundred and uh, by forty six or so. Mm. So exactly where did Honorable Ablakwa <coughs> lie about this? I, I mean, when government put things in their budget mm. and come around and say that we don't mean it, you go and the government said is reducing. It's working at reducing the numbers by twenty nine to sixty nine people will, will be. You will see, be. these are the kind of things they say, and when you say it, somebody will say you insult. If you had less than a thousand in two thousand and eighteen, mm. and in two thousand and nineteen you are putting in the budget one thousand six hundred. What kind, of, what kind of reduction is this? What kind of reduction is this? You come to parliament, you say you want to do a, a website for 600,000. When they asked you, they said, oh, it was a 4,000. You said you want to be, build a, a six-unit classroom block for 700,000. When we asked you, you said it was a typographical mistake. What kind of government is this? Honorable Okuje to a black or the minority, never lied. If they are looking for facts, tell the finance minister and the, the information minister the data did not come from Honorable Okuje to Ablakwa. It's app Appendix 7 in their own budget, and it's clearly written there. Okay. Thank you very much. Stephen, you have the final thought. And uh, Gideon yes. wants me to ask you. He says, um, <clears throat> upon all the borrowing by this MPP government, our capital expenditure to GDP ratio as a country is just 1.7% uh, in 2018. And this is a decline from 45 in 2016. What does the government have to show? Not even a hand coop. Which asset is Stephen talking about? Gideon is asking. <laughs> uh, I'll have his number and send the roots. The, the details. After that, okay. send the roots that we have done and started doing. Go okay. and check. Right. We've done a lot. If we haven't done anything at all, when it comes to pro policies in Ghana here, mm. it is unprecedented. Two years of any government. Unprecedented. Not okay. even first MPP. Are you, but are let you me bloating go, let the me number at the government let machinery or office of the president? Let me ask. Mm. Is it office of government machinery that my... Uh, Honorable Leonard member mm. is talking I'm about. I'm just a Mr. Member. Uh, okay. Sorry. Leonard. So lawyers don't Le take Leonard, it's only lawyers that No, they, they, they think they own it, so me and me. What, what that, I read was brother, Office of Government exactly. Machinery. Exactly. So it's not presidential staff. So let's, let's try to distinguish between the two. Office of Government Machinery. Even Maslow. It's an Office of Government Machinery. It has right. always been. Yes. So. We need to try and understand that presidential staffer, in a way, is different from Office of Government Machinery staffer. Mm. That is a broader picture. But in any case, what I know is that 2018, it was about 1,697. Mm. Talking about 2019, it's 1,640, difference of about 83. Mm. And it's because there has been closure of some units okay. within even the presidency. And also, those who are going on retirement, we are not replacing them. Okay. Look, when it comes to Ekufuado, let's face it. President Ekufuado. President Ekufuado. Mm. Oh, you know he's president and you're saying okay, all those okay. things. Steven, move, I mean, move on. Putting oh, up Steven. those Kazi, Abrant, and antisocial behaviors before our parliament. That's is that to suggest that he's not that 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 the one to use against President Mahama no, no. on this program? Is that to oh, suggest that? Let me come in, please. So, you said we stole oh, money. I thought you said you shouldn't talk when I'm no, talking. You said we stole money and we the banks. I wrote it down here. You said we stole money and I wrote it down I said he stole. You see, the money that was stolen under his government. Okay. I think I'm here. I made the vocabulary staff. The money that was Stolen under his don't, don't, don't throw in, in windows, I beg you. But you see, we cannot be. Boss, no, no, boss, we cannot go dirty. Kwame, boss, don't go dirty. Boss, boss, you, you have dressed nicely. Can I, can Why I don't go dirty yourself? You know, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can be as I can be one of those say things. Okay. I'm making that statement with reference to courts of competent jurisdiction. Okay. I'm not speculating. Okay. Steven, so, move on. All that I'm saying is right. that talking about staff, I'm begging the Ghana, Ghanaian media. Mm. You're doing so much work, but I'm just begging. But if I come and speak, they will say MPP. If you speak, they will say NDC. Okay. Go and check our budget expenditure on issues of the presidency mm. under NDC and under MPP. Go and check. Two, 
let's see in terms of productivity, in terms of resource, okay. in terms of output. What, between 110 the two, ministers, are we no, feeling 111. What's it? 110 correct ministers, are we feeling yourself, it? 111. So I'm saying that go and check Mr. Host, it's not the 110, amount 111. of money I'm coming. Correct yourself. Please. 111. Yes, yes. Okay. Boss, whatever the number is, I beg you, why won't you go and check if a government has 110 or 11? No, 111. No, okay, 111. It's 111. Okay. As he's talking about. If, ah, if he's so, but you don't know it's oh, 111. I, I okay. Also Thank you no, very no, that's much. not fair. If you do, that's not fair. Let Steven, me finish. I've given you... But he's worrying me. Stop him. Why you worry If the government does that... And at the end of the day, Ghanaians see productivity. Okay. And we spend less. Mm. They use the so-called lesser number or less number. Okay. And they spend more and less productivity. Okay. GDP growth 3.7. We have moved beyond 8. Which one makes sense? What's the price of food? Which one makes sense? If What's more, the price of if what is the tax on it now? Steven, and the what is the price of food? Steven, thank you. Steven, you are a mathematician. Five if more. Per litre. Steven, you are a mathematician. Steven, you are a mathematician. If, 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 if more. If, if more. One litre, six cities by now. Steven, if more. Steven, if more, you are mad. Less divide. If, if, if less, more divide. <laughs> Thank you. Steven, Steven Amwa is the boss at Maslock. Thank you very much, Steven, for your Monday morning. Okay, Grateful. We'll talk about what, that what, what later. Kwame Agoja yeah, Honorable yeah. is the member of parliament for Adaklu constituency. And he's joined us. Thank you, gentlemen, for your Monday morning. We're grateful. And thank you for watching.